So when we thought about planning the levers assembly, we thought initially about three outcomes that we could use. Um, and having looked at those uh, through our moderation, we uh, think that there's actually a couple more that could be added in. Um, so uh, we had the I can sing and play music from a range of styles and cultures. Uh, we also had inspired by a range of stimuli and working my own uh, we can communicate ideas, thoughts and feelings and we also had in about listening to a range of music and responding with thoughts and feelings. So Hannah and I felt because knowing the children so well and knowing what they are capable of pushing them on to include more expressive arts um, experiences and outcomes that involve dance um, was extremely relevant um, to include that as well because there are so many children that are capable we can sort of bundle those that dance outcome along with those music ones and because it is built into a performance um, we thought it was also appropriate to include some health and well-being um, experiences and outcomes in there as well to sort of um, like show there was, there's yeah, confidence, confidence to be able to give constructive uh -huh. feedback to each other so we think that we should have there would be a, a ease and all about dance mm -hmm. yeah. and one about health and well-being. And engage all the children at the appropriate level with the appropriate amount of challenge in the lessons as well. But I think, I think initially there it, weren't enough. We, we looked at, um, we could identify areas where we could add in more experience and outcomes. So maybe at the first glance it was solely based on music. Because that's what your experience is. when we looked at the sort of bigger picture of the end goal, it incorporated much more than that so after our through discussion and after that we were able to add in more which is mm -hmm. I would say and it shows off their skills better. shows off the skills they've got yep. over the curriculum yeah because we've got a lot of children who have like strong confidence in music mm -hmm. so they're although they might not all play an instrument they're very they can, they can sing or they can act they and across the expressive arts they can act and things mm -hmm. like that so when I think initially when we looked at it there was three core ones yes. for all children but we've differentiated and we've allowed yes. for challenge uh -huh. and also within that we know the children also need supported as well yes. the children are, are at the very center yes, yes. absolutely of it. We, we take on board everything that they see and I think that's why we then went back and added in yes. the dance. Yeah, yes, because that's something that they're very keen on. Yes, uh -huh. very keen and enjoy and, and there's a lot of children with really good skills mm -hmm. yep. that can showcase that. And they're quite creative. They're able to, creative. like, you know, take inspiration from something and go yeah, away and work on it themselves yeah. and come back and say, look what we've done. Yeah. And they're quite happy showing it off in front of the other yeah, they're, children. They're, they're, they're good performers, strong performers. They're and I think when we at the planning stages, when we were going through like the experience and outcomes, looking at the benchmark success criteria, we knew what our assessment was going to be. So it, it made it, we used what you already had. And because we added bits in then, and we talked about it, it made it very easy for us to say, well, this would be part of the assessment as well. So I think there that the assessment, it, it covers a range, a whole range of yep. uh, like the children assessing themselves and working with others and then us assessing it. And obviously the final assessment is our big showcase. Yep.